Hi everybody, today I have shoes in front of me. They are my shoes, they are dirty shoes, but that's okay because I have the white shoe cleaner from Ant Design. Uh, however, you may have noticed that not all of these shoes are white. I thought that would be an interesting test too. Will the white shoe cleaner clean multicolored shoes? Hopefully it won't ruin them, but I thought it would be a valid experiment. Inside the kit, we have the foam shoe cleaner, the white shoe care lotion, a stiff brush, a sponge, and some kind of cloth in a bag. Now there aren't any instructions, like an instruction book in the kit, but there are instructions printed on the labels. Unfortunately, these instructions are in the world's smallest font. I'll do my best. I have my reading glasses, but there's only so much we can hope for. Please test before use. If there is no adverse condition, you can use it on large areas of shoes. I don't know how you're supposed to test this without ruining shoes. My shoes are size 13s, but these they're still, every place is noticeable. And we're just gonna have to take our chances, I guess. All of these shoes are canvas shoes. I'm not sure what all these stains are. Time, use, you know how it goes. Well, it's certainly foamy. I will use the brush. Oh, there is. There is leather on these shoes as well as canvas. I forgot about that, but I can't remember. Did it say not to use it on leather? It said not to use it on suede. I think this is just, well, I guess I don't care. I started with these shoes because while I do like them, I don't like them as much as my other two pair. So <laughs> thought that was a good enough reason. I can't tell if they're getting cleaner or not. Is it? maybe foam lightening it but just for comparison um maybe i don't know i'll, I'll try a little more foam i think the sponge must be for like pure leather shoes or like a, like a smooth surface leather rather than this rough surface leather that I have here. Seems like you want to use this brush for the canvas. I still see plenty of black. I'm kind of angling this brush to get into the seam between the leather and the canvas. Maybe I'll, I'll use the sponge on this rubber part. Oh, I don't know why you wouldn't always use the brush. get the dislodge whatever dirt is in there it's hard to tell if it's doing any good at all compare it oh yeah there is a difference there is a difference yeah you can tell even from one side to the next so we'll keep going i don't <laughs> in the ad it says it will make them look like new that may be optimistic. I guess I would take better over dirty. I don't really care what the bottom of the shoe looks like, but it might be interesting to see what the foam does to the bottom since this is kind of worst case scenario. It's pretty worn. I should replace these shoes actually instead of cleaning them, but good for a demonstration. The foam is turning dirty. I guess that's a good sign. I'm going to try using the sponge to wipe it away. Some of this foam is, is in a place where I can't really reach. It's going to have to dry or maybe I'll have to rinse it off with water. But just for comparison, uh, there is a difference. I wouldn't say, I say the, well, some of this is just worn out. I don't know if he could really restore all of it. But I would say it is cleaner. Oh, you know, I didn't try this 
this white shoe care lotion. It says restore original luster to the leather. I wonder if this is like shoe polish. Let me, let me go back to this one for a second here. All right. It's kind of, it's, it has a built-in sponge applicator. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to really use it for scrubbing. Well, these shoelaces are dirty too, but those are easier to replace. What I don't know is if there's some kind of a bleach in this stuff. So I'm, I am a little concerned about using it on the colored shoes. There's some kind of a, an odor smells like stuff that would clean shoes. Uh, just for fun, I'm going to put some on the bottom shoelace part here, just because it is straight and easy to access and also filthy. So seems like a good test. Definitely a difference. So I can tell a difference between these two shoes. This one doesn't look new, but it looks cleaner. We will set these aside and go to the vans. I wonder if I should start with the, well, this is cleaner and this is care lotion. I don't, I don't know. I'll start with the cleaner again. That's what I did with that. So we have another shake. When I first got these, I treated them with that stuff that the van store sells, thinking that I would just be able to rinse off whatever's on here, but that didn't happen. So uh, I don't know if it's, maybe these would be even worse off if I hadn't used that. The white rubber is dirty as well. So I'm going to try the white shoe care lotion on the rubber. But I did notice some difference on the other one when I was doing that. Just going to apply this on fairly thick so at least I can see where it's at and scrub it in. This may be the first time I've ever washed a shoe. <laughs> I've never really given thought to how dirty my shoes are. Unless they're like caked in mud, of course, then you don't want that. But so your shoes are hitting the ground all the time. Of course they're dirty. That looks pretty good. Let's do a... I think you can see a difference. I'm using this brush pretty much exclusively. So I, I don't know if I should be using the sponge or when I should be using the sponge. But I guess one thing that my efforts so far have done is I'm not really worried that they're going to ruin my colored shoes because I, I don't think there's super strong bleaching agents in this. Kind of reminds me of a bingo dauber. I think it's better. I just we'll have to see what it looks like after it's dried off. Let's try the terribly soiled, really old shoes. I ordered these back in the day when customs were a new thing. <laughs> and my goal was just to find the most obnoxious pattern I could come up with. And I I was just, I, I couldn't wear them for years because 
I just thought it was too embarrassing. <laughs> but, uh, especially since COVID hit, I wear nothing but Hawaiian shirts. And you'd be surprised how often these things go with Hawaiian shirts. So, <laughs> it was a, a wise purchase eventually. And again, I can't really tell if it's getting cleaner or just wetter. I think it's cleaner. I still see the the black folds where the, I guess the stains really got in deep. But again, this is white shoe cleaner. So they, they never said that it would clean anything but white. Although I don't see anything on here that says it won't. It's just this one that mentions white. So the blue, I, I don't know if it's clean or just hard to tell where the dirt is, but I'm not too concerned about the blue. Now the green on the back, that has some definite dirt on it. So we'll give that a clean as well. This stuff smells a lot better than this stuff. Again, I can't tell if it's any cleaner. Even when I compare it to this one, um, all I can say is maybe. This one's dry, so I'll go ahead and, and clean the rest of it and hope for the best. I guess I will just let this dry and we will see where we're at. The I've I've done both of these pairs of shoes. This one, remember, I left one cleaned and one not for comparison. We'll let these dry and we'll come back later. I'm back with a retrospective of the Ant Design Shoe Cleaner Kit. I have the ad copy in front of me and I would like to note that it says it delivers concentrated cleanliness and the suede shoe cleaner's exceptional cleaning ability leaves behind no residues, providing a non-greasy original finish. The reason why I bring that up is because it says right on the bottle, do not use on suede. So is it a suede shoe cleaner or not? We'll never know. It says it's for decontamination and whitening. Great. Deep cleaning, strong stain removal, perfect as new. Well, let's take a look. Here is my shoe that I didn't clean at all. And this is the shoe that I cleaned. Not bad, huh? That worked pretty well. And I would say that this, like this part here, that is where I rubbed off the rubber. So this is not dirty. It's just the, the color of the rubber underneath, like the bottom of the shoe. Oh yeah, let's look at the bottoms. That's, it's quite a difference. Now it doesn't look like new. Mm, I don't know if I cleaned this part. I don't, know if, I don't remember that. I, this and this shoestring was really, I don't know if you could see it in the video, but this shoestring was super dirty and now it it looks new. I, I, I'm a believer. <laughs> I would say this works great, at least on white shoes. Let's take a look at the checkerboard vans. Remember, I, the the checkerboard vans had a red, reddish orange stain on the toes. You can kind of see it, but uh, I'm I'm very happy. I uh, I was skeptical. I didn't think this would work at all, but. And you really couldn't tell while it was still wet. It's after it dried, it got, it turned white. I can't explain it other than it works. 
I'm, I, I was so disappointed when I got these shoes dirty, but yeah, I mean, you can, you can kind of tell there was something there, but who's going to be that close? I mean, this is under magnification. <laughs> this, I'm so happy with this. All right. What about the color shoes? Well, actually, one of them didn't get dry. So I had something, I had these sitting under a fan and something fell over on top of it. So one of these is dry, the other is not. But this is the dry one. I mean, it's not perfect. It doesn't look new, but remember, these things are like 25 years old. Never been cleaned. And... Uh, you can still see there's a little bit of a stain here and the toe is a little bit discolored up here, but that is pretty darn good. I mean, even the, these where the natural folds are, these were black. So it's definitely not just for white shoes. And look at that heel. I mean, you can kind of tell there's a little something here but that is so nice. Ah, I, I got it. I'm a believer. This Ant Design Shoe Cleaner Kit is amazing. I... <laughs> five out of five. This is awesome. Thanks for stopping by.